Hello everyone, I am Rishikesh Kulkarni. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about very important concept for designing of component which is subjected to more than one type of stress. The concept is theories of elastic failure. Here, when a component is subjected to more than one stress which are acting on mutually perpendicular axis of component, then the component is said to have in biaxial stress system. In the given figure, the component or the rectangular plate is subjected to two tensile stresses which are acting on the mutually perpendicular axis of plate. One tensile stress is acting on longitudinal axis of rectangular plate and other tensile stress is acting on the transverse axis of rectangular plate and the other stress acting on the component is shear stress. Due to this, when the component is in biaxial stress system, then the principal stresses or maximum shear stresses, maximum strain or maximum strain energy or maximum deformation energy is produced in the component. The values of these things are compared with the corresponding values such as tensile stress, maximum shear stress, maximum strain, maximum strain energy, maximum deformation energy produced in the component by simple tension test. So when we compare these values with the corresponding values which are obtained by simple tension test, it is known as corresponding theories of failure. Okay, now I, now you will ask me what is meant by simple tension test. Simple tension test is nothing but the test which is carried out for obtaining the strength of any component or strength of any material. That means in that a component is loaded with certain load until the component fractures. And from that simple tension test, various properties such as tensile strength, shear strength, strain energy, distortion energy, strain can be find out. So this is about the simple tension test. In this tutorial, I am going to explain five theories of failure. First one is the maximum principal stress theory. The other name of this theory is Rankine's theory. Second one is the maximum shear stress theory, which is also known as Triska's theory or Gase theory. Third one is the maximum strain energy theory or highest theory. Fourth one is the maximum distortion energy theory. It is also known as von Mises theory or Henke theory. Last one is the maximum strain theory, maximum principal strain theory. For diploma students, first, second and fourth theory is very important. So the first theory of elastic failure is the maximum principal stress theory, which is known as Rankine's theory. As the scientist Rankine put forth this theory then therefore it is known as Rankine's theory. This theory says that the failure of component occurs when the value of maximum principal stress which is developed due to the biaxial stress acting on the component becomes equal to or greater than the tensile strength of component. So the equation of principal stress is sigma 1 is equals to half of sigma t that is tensile stress acting on the component plus root of sigma t square plus 4 tau square where tau is the shear stress acting on the component is equals to the yield strength of component divided by factor of safety. Here you will have to take the allowable stress for designing of component or design stress for designing of component. The allowable stress can be found out by dividing either a yield point strength of component divided by factor of safety or ultimate strength divided by factor of safety. The yield point strength is taken for the ductile material and the ultimate strength is taken for the brittle material. This theory is used generally for designing of brittle material. Also this theory is used generally for designing of shaft which is subjected to torque and bending moment as well. The next theory is the maximum shear stress theory which is also known as Tresca's or Guest theory. This theory says that the failure of component occurs when the maximum shear stress developed in the component which is subjected to biaxial stress which becomes equal to or greater than the shear strength of component which is obtained from the simple tension test. It is given by tau max that is maximum shear stress is equals to half of root of 
sigma t square plus 4 tau square sigma t is the tensile stress induced in the component and tau is the shear stress induced in the component which is equals to tau y t by f s that is shear strength yield point shear strength of component divided by factor of safety for ductile material if the yield point shear strength is not given to you then the yield point shear strength for ductile material can be taken as half of yield point tensile strength of component or it is equal to ultimate shear strength of component divided by factor of safety for brittle material if the ultimate shear strength of material is not given to you you can take it as half of ultimate strength of material this theory is usually used for designing of ductile materials such as shaft keys and other things so this is about the maximum shear stress theory next theory is maximum distortion energy theory or it is also known as one misses and Henke's theory this theory says that the failure of component occurs when maximum distortion energy which is generated in the component which is in biaxial stress becomes greater than or equal to the value of distortion energy which is obtained by simple tension test it is given by sigma t1 square plus sigma t2 square minus 2 into sigma t1 into t2 is equals to sigma yt divided by fs whole square where sigma t1 is the first tensile stress acting on the component and sigma t2 which is the second tensile stress acting on the component when the component is in biaxial stress system okay this theory is mainly used for designing of ductile material the next type of theory is the maximum strain energy theory maximum strain energy theory it is also known as highest theory this theory says that the failure of component occurs when the value of maximum strain energy in the component which is in biaxial stress becomes greater than or equal to corresponding strain energy obtained by the simple tension test it is given by sigma t1 square plus sigma t2 square minus 2 into sigma t1 into sigma t2 divided by m is equals to sigma yt by fs whole square where sigma t1 and sigma t2 are the tensile stresses acting on the component and m is the Poisson's ratio sigma yt by fs sigma yt is the yield point strength of material next maximum principal strain theory this theory is also known as saint venant theory this theory says that the failure of component occurs when the value of maximum principal strain in the biaxial stress system becomes greater than or equal to the strain produced in the component which becomes greater than or equal to the value of strain produced in the component obtained from simple tension test it is given by epsilon max which is the maximum strain in the component or maximum deformation in the component equal to sigma t1 by e minus sigma t2 by m into e is equals to sigma yt that is yield point strength of material divided by e into fs e is the young's modulus and fs is the factor of safety this is about the maximum principal strength theory in my next tutorial i am going to explain you about some aspects in design thank you for watching my video thank you